This video was sponsored by Ultimate Guard. The holidays are coming, so feel free to use the link down below to order some Ultimate Guard products, like this beautiful petrol solid color boulder. Ultimate Guard is made famous by their boulders, solid, reliable, and affordable deck boxes. Boulders are now available in solid colors, like this one seen here. Find it if your local game store carries the new Ultimate Guard solid color boulders, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Hector. Huge thanks to Hector and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Hector reached out asking for help with his Nalia de Arnis deck. He told me that he had enough villainous decks, so he wanted one focused more around the heroes this time. If you're enjoying my content, feel free to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. And if you liked the deck list, consider sharing the video as well. Nalia de Arnis is a 3 mana 3 3 legendary human rogue. We may look at the top card of our library at any time and may cast it, but only if that card is a cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard. Additionally, at the beginning of combat on our turn, if we have a full party, we put a plus one plus one counter on each creature we control, and those creatures gain death touch until end of turn. So we want lots of clerics, wizards, and warriors in our deck. But Danan, why not a lot of rogues as well? Well, because we have a rogue in the command zone. Now, Hector told me that his deck did great on the first few turns, but tended to have a rough mid-game. I figured it was because he didn't have enough ramp or card advantage in his deck. He wants to be casting two or three spells every turn, and for that, you need to draw a lot of cards, as well as have enough ramp to quickly get to nine or so mana. Because even if your curve is very low, like it is in this deck, casting three spells a turn does take a bit of mana. But before we get to our deck list, I just wanted to remind everyone about our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Quick announcement before we get to our video. I started streaming on Twitch. There's a link down below in the video description, but the address is twitch.tv slash Wildfire. Feel free to swing by. I'll be talking about Commander, Anime, Manga, or whatever else chat wants to discuss. I should have a schedule hammered out soon, so stay tuned for further announcements. Command Tower, Path of Ancestry, Vault of the Archangel, Isolated Chapel, Tainted Field, Caves of Koilos, Temple of Silence, Shine Shadow Starl, Bright Climb Pathway, Bajuka Bog, Castle Lockthwain, Mortuary Mire, Mutavault, Myriad Landscape, War Room, Nine Plains, and Ten Swamps make up our land base for this deck. Deep Gnome Terramancer, Burakos Party Leader, Grim Hireling, Soul Ring, Wayfarer's Bobble, Arcane Signet, Orzov Signet, Talisman of Hierarchy, Black Market Connections, Mindstone, Marble Diamond, and Charcoal Diamond help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Mind Blade Render, Tenacious Underdog, Bygone Bishop, Grim Hierospecs, Harper Recruiter, Nakira Layer Scavenger, Order of White Clay, Rumor Gatherer, Viconia Drow Apostate, Blood Tracker, Gaunty Lord of Luxury, Solemn Doom Guide, Seasoned Dungeoneer, Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, Coveted Prize, Bolus's Citadel, and Folk Hero help us to dig through our deck and find answers. Gatekeeper of Malakir, Hidden Dragon Slayer, Haven Mind Sensor, Frontline Medic, Dawnbringer Cleric, and War Priest of Thune make up our interaction package. I know that's not a lot, but we have a small flicker package as well as a good bit of reanimation, so Hector should be fine with just these. Stick Together, 
and austere command help us to reset the board as needed. Dream Stealer, Grim Haru Specs, Felisa Fang of Silver Quill, Gale Powder Mage, Dire Fleet Ravager, Puppeteer Click, and Calculating Lich make up the rest of our wizard package. For warriors, we've got Lazel Vlaukas Champion, Mardu Strike Leader, Solemn Recruit, Jazal Goldmane, Squad Commander, and Lotho Corrupt Sheriff. Una's Blackguard serves as another rogue for us. For clerics, we've got Archpriest of Iona, Giver of Runes, Micaeus the Lunark, Mother of Runes, Allenbach Escort, Eight and a Half Tails, Luminarch Aspirant, Selfless Spirit, Glorious Protector, and Abzan Battle Priest. Finally, to round out our deck, we're running Changeling Outcast, Mirror Entity, Lazel's Acrobatics, Multiclass Baldric, and Maskwood Nexus. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 46 mana sources split between 34 lands and 12 pieces of ramp. A little light, but our curve is low, so it's fine. 17 pieces of card advantage. I know that seems like a lot, but this deck needs it. Six pieces of interaction. A little light, but all of them can be cast more than once. Two board wipes. Two pieces of graveyard hate in Dawnbringer Cleric and Bajukabog. No sudden I win cards, but lots of value. Hector requested that we keep the plus one plus one sub theme going. He wanted to grow his creatures and smash his opponents. He also noted that his deck sometimes stalled out when playing. He'd get to a certain point and his opponents would just run him over. So I wanted to focus on card advantage more than anything, even if it meant cutting into interaction a little bit. Now, some people are wondering where Coat of Arms is. I didn't forget it, and even though our deck is under $100, Hector never specifically requested that the deck stay budget. I left it out because I didn't want to rely on Maskwood Nexus. Because we're a party deck, not a typal deck. Do you have a Nalia Darnis Commander deck? What's your secret deck tech? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to Matter to Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash For only $25, you too can have a commander video built at your request. If the tier is sold out, please don't stress. Just check back in a week or so. I regularly have people join for a couple of months and then cancel but there's only so much time in the month, so I have to cap it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Borgie, Jake, Exiled Rogue, Noswin, Pedro, Ernor, Tom, Echo Fox, Midge, and Swifty. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Damon.